Many adventures end by riding off into the sunset, but I think that you'll find that this one begins by flying into one. Join me as I discover Color Changing Yarn, a Harry Potter inspired yarn booth, a fantastic collection of historic knitting cards, and many more amazing things. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited because I'm actually at Stitches Salt Lake. So you guys can join me today as I walk through the convention center and we look at some beautiful yarns and maybe go through some different events. So let's go. I flew into the sunset the night before so that I could wake up bright and early the next day to head to the Salt Lake City Convention Center and make it to the Stitches Market. This was my first Stitches event or any kind of yarn convention, knitting convention that I've ever been to and I was quite overwhelmed by all the things that I could see, but I was immediately drawn to this Harry Potter inspired yarn display. I was really excited by this display because I feel like they put so much effort into it, including having stitch markers and pins inspired by all the houses, yarns and patterns set up for each of the four separate houses as well as a combination of the houses all together. And the same yarn company also had two mini sets of yarns inspired by the show Outlander and that's one of my favorite shows and I absolutely loved the yarn colors and yarn names. I was also incredibly amazed by all of the sample pieces that they had knit and on display. It honestly made me want to knit every single one of the ones that I saw. The intricacy of the patterns and the attention to detail and the quality of the wool was absolutely stunning. One of my favorite things that I discovered was a set of historic knitting cards as I mentioned in the beginning. It's also my biggest regret that I didn't purchase one of these because I think the images are fantastic and the quotes that accompany them pretty relatable. This is also my first introduction to continuous thread weaving. Overall, I think it was the first time that I saw weaving done in person, so this is, I would say, overall my first introduction to weaving, but the few things that I did understand about weaving was that you typically cut the yarns, but what I didn't realize is that there are other techniques like this one where you use one continuous thread, in this case um, on the bias, so diagonally, in order to create the fabric at the end. And watching the progress from the initial point to this finished piece was absolutely fantastic. I also found this absolutely adorable sheep cardboard yarn display. But on looking closer at what the yarn actually was, it's something I've never seen before, which is this very thin yarn with these bobbles interspersed. And when you hold it together with another yarn, you actually create this beautiful fabric that was completely new to me and really exciting to discover. What really blew me away though was this color changing yarn. And it's activated by light, sunlight, so UV rays. So they had this UV flashlight that you could shine on the sample of knitting that looked completely white. But when you shone the light on it, parts of it changed color, which was the color changing yarn that you could see working here. There are also plenty of cute things to find, like these adorable pins, the fluffiest little alpaca figurine made from alpaca itself, socks with cats on them, both ends, as well as a book that I immediately had to purchase for crochet dog patterns. And last but not least, the amazing yarns. I could go on and on about all of the amazing yarns and variety of yarns that I saw while I was there, but instead I'll leave you with this brief overview of the yarns that I experienced. And just as a quick note, this isn't sponsored in any way, I just wanted to share the experience of going to this yarn festival with you all. At the end of a long but happy day, I had a bag full of yarn, which I can't wait to share with you as I go over my haul. Okay, so we were on our way home and we thought we'd stop here so that I can go over all the things that we bought while we were at Stitches today. I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So first I'm gonna start with a stall called Hole in the Wool. And I got this beautiful, thick, bulky yarn in the colorway Regency. 
and I'm planning on making a hat out of this and I have one more yarn to show you all that I'm going to be using as well which I'm really excited about but I'll get to that later. From the same store we also have um, a similar yarn but this is in DK weight and it's the colorway Maven and this I believe is going to become a cowl which we actually have the pattern for in here. So this beautiful cowl that it's going to become. So we got those two things. The next place that I want to go through is uh, Blazing Needles, which has just the cutest bag. And they sell um, wool from and yarns from different dyers and different yarn makers. And this is from Wool Folk. This is probably the softest wool I have ever felt in my life. And these two skeins are going to become a hat, a Christmas present. So don't want to talk in too much detail about what exactly it is because I would still want that to be a surprise. The next one is from Forbidden uh, Fiber Co. And this was a really, really fun stall. And I really love these beautiful variegated yarns. They're just gorgeous. This one's going to become a hat and this one's going to become a cowl. So we have the colorway Herbology, which I think is very fitting, this green one. And then we have the colorway More Sky. It's beautiful. And then from Lost City Knits, we have this whole pack. So this is actually going to become a hat um, in Merry Lights. So it's quite a few skeins of yarn, but I think that it's going to look incredibly beautiful. It's going to look like the Aurora Borealis. It's going to be really nice. What else do we have? Oh, this is also, this is another one from the Forbidden Fiber Co. And it's got beautiful sparkles in it. Um, not 100% sure what this is going to turn into, but it's just, it's almost got like a wine color with some grays and beiges in it. And it's just so soft. And this is a, these are all DK weights. We have one more yarn kit, and this is for the Toff hat. If anyone knows Avatar The Last Airbender, they actually make different hats for the different elements. So there's like a Katara and an uh, like a firebender one and this is specifically for the top hat i'm excited to knit this hat a lot of hats that's what i'm realizing we're gonna we're not gonna have cold heads this winter which is probably a good thing now this is my absolute favorite yarn that i got this is by country dream acres and it is hand spun two ply 100 percent angora yarn and it's from a bunny so the woman who spins this yarn owns four Angora rabbits, French Angora rabbits. And this one is White Snap. That's the bunny's name that this is from. And she brushes her bunnies and then uh, spins up this wool from it, which is so soft. I think it's the softest. I know I said the other thing was the softest wool, but I think this is hands down the softest yarn I've ever touched in my life. And then some fun accessories. So um, this book, where you can crochet some dogs, which I think is super fun. I think that's gonna be really, really fun to make some dogs out of. They look super cute and I, I can't wait to try it out and I'll probably share with you guys when I, when I make that. Um, some really, really, look at these. This is made from alpaca itself and they're two cute little standing alpacas and they're so soft and so fluffy, so cute. I can't wait to display them. And just a few more things. Um, I want to make myself some slippers, and these are some uh, felt insoles. And then last thing, it's um, knitting bags. So I heard about these, or I saw these, not too long ago, and I've wanted one since I saw them. I was thinking about sewing them myself, but then I saw them in a stand today, and I knew I just had to have it. So what you do is you put the long loop through the short one, and then you put that on your wrist. So if your yarn here, and the yarn well, in your bag, sorry, you have your yarn inside your bag and then you can knit outside of the project. And so you're holding your project on your wrist so you can be pretty mobile with it. And it's got a really good capacity and they're actually reversible. So I've got bunnies on the outside in green and bunnies on the inside in pink. That is the whole haul from Stitches today. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was slightly different from my past ones, but I'll be back to my historical knitting next time. So if you like knitting content, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.